the universe has infinite power, he can control all, everything in the world cannot be separated from him, including you and I are no exception. This force is called the law of attraction, the universe can give you everything you can't imagine. If you want to use this power to change your life, let it bring you wealth, happiness, health, positivity, optimism, hope, love and so on. Watch Change Your Life Action, the YouTube channel, which allows you to get everything you want, watch immediately. Remember to subscribe to YouTube channel. It's best to click on this bell-shaped icon, so that you're the first to receive a new video. It can make a perfect change in your life. Let's start watching now, today's title is When will I find love? Three steps to find love using the law of attraction. Love. Love is said to make the world go round, is it not? It may seem that everywhere you look couples are gazing longingly into each other's eyes, Valentine's Day keeps rearing its ugly head and all of your friends are getting married. Standing on the outside looking in, it may seem as though everybody except for you is riding the exhilarating wave of love. And from where you are, it doesn't feel very nice. Being single should be a fantastic time of self-discovery and fun, it is during these times of independence and freedom that we get to understand ourselves best and decide what we want most from life. However, similarly to how people in relationships sometimes long for their single days, every singleton will have those moments when they ask themselves the age-old question, when will it happen? When will I find the one? The feeling of being in love and knowing that you are loved in return can be compared to no other. But what should you do if it seems as though love is taking its sweet old time to find you? Surely all love is fated, and therefore we should just sit back and wait for the one to find us. Wrong. Love. Love is said to make the world go round, is it not? It may seem that everywhere you look couples are gazing longingly into each other's eyes, Valentine's Day keeps rearing its ugly head and all of your friends are getting married. Standing on the outside looking in, it may seem as though everybody except for you is riding the exhilarating wave of love. And from where you are, it doesn't feel very nice. Being single should be a fantastic time of self-discovery and fun, it is during these times of independence and freedom that we get to understand ourselves best and decide what we want most from life. However, similarly to how people in relationships sometimes long for their single days, every singleton will have those moments when they ask themselves the age-old question, when will it happen? When will I find the one? The feeling of being in love and knowing that you are loved in return can be compared to no other. But what should you do if it seems as though love is taking its sweet old time to find you? Surely all love is fated, and therefore we should just sit back and wait for the one to find us. Wrong. Make it happen. How to manifest love It is true that something as life-changing and intricate as love cannot be forced or hurried, however, it is not true that we can expect to stumble across love as a result of chance. Just like every other aspect of your life, your love life is completely within your control. You decide when you want to find love. You have to make it happen. The law of attraction teaches that everything we attract into our lives is a direct response to our thoughts and energies. If this is so, then we are responsible for the people that we attract into our lives too. So, if we are living our lives in loneliness, anger, doubt, wanting or general negativity, how can we expect to attract something as beautiful and positive as love into our lives? If you want to find love, the changes have to start with you. For now, here are three things you can do to start manifesting your soulmate. 1. You have to believe to receive the first step to finding love is to believe that you are worthy of love. This may sound easy enough, but ask yourself this, if you already felt yourself to be worthy of love, why have you still not found it? Sometimes, we may feel as though our thoughts and actions are screaming out for love, when in fact, the doubts that we secretly harbor are blocking the way for our desires to manifest. So until this very moment, unknowingly or knowingly, you have allowed your doubts to hold you back from what it is that you want most, love. Next time you doubt your worth or your chance of finding love, try asking yourself the following three questions, what do I doubt? Example answer, my chance of finding love. Has anyone else in my situation found love? 
Example answer, yes. How often do you think that this happens around the world? Example answer, every second of every day. Every time you begin to feel doubt creeping in, ask yourself this quick set of questions and you should find yourself renewed with positivity, helping you to manifest love much quicker. Remember, the entire universe is rooting for you. The earth is populated with more than 7 billion people, half of which are single. So why all the doubt? 2. Learn to love yourself It may be an old and overused cliché, but it really is true that you cannot expect to find love until you learn to love yourself. When we fail to unburden ourselves of the invisible baggage we have picked up from previous relationships or past experiences, you are sabotaging your chances of finding true love and happiness. So, the first step is to release any feelings of guilt or negativity that you may still be harboring from getting over a breakup or past relationship. To do this, the key is to learn how to interpret positively and to let go. Having repetitive thoughts such as, my last boyfriend cheated on me. I don't ever want to risk feeling that hurt Argarin is an example of a resistant thought that can non-deliberately attract the kind of relationships that you don't want back into your life. After all, we attract what our thoughts give attention to. In order to prevent thoughts such as these stopping you from manifesting love, you can choose to interpret more positively. For example, the above thought can be interpreted like this, I now have the opportunity to attract into my life a new, loyal and loving boyfriend, girlfriend. If we put a positive spin on a negative thought, our thoughts and energies can instantly be turned to ones of love and pure positivity. We attract what we are feeling. Transform yourself into a temple of love, inner peace and happiness. This is what you can attract back in return. 3. Be clear on what you want How do you imagine your perfect man or woman to be? Are they tall, dark and beautiful? Are they career-minded, family-orientated, sporty, introverted, extroverted? We all like to think that we know what qualities we are looking for in our dream partner. After all, we have daydreamed about them enough. But how well do you know what you are really looking for from your next big love? For the law of attraction to work in any area of your life, you must first achieve absolute clarity on what it is that you want. Paint the perfect picture in your mind's eye of what you are looking for and that is what you can attract. Spend time getting clear on what it is that you want. Having trouble pinpointing the exact qualities that you are looking for in your ideal partner? Then first, try thinking about what it is that you don't want. Generally speaking, many people find it much easier to think of the things that they don't want, i.e. Someone who hates dancing, someone that works away from home a lot, somebody with bad hygiene, etc. Use this mental list of things that you do not want to see in a partner to then decide what it is that you do want, i.e. Someone that is outgoing and loves dancing, somebody that takes good care of themselves and their appearance. Sometimes it can be helpful to think back to past relationships, in order to identify what you didn't enjoy about those relationships and decide what you do want from your next one. All you need is love if you look closely enough, your life is probably already full to bursting with love. Love for your siblings and parents, love for your loyal pet, love for your friends, love for your fellow man. It is when we all stop to appreciate the abundance of love that we are already feeling and receiving in our lives that we become more loving and full of thoughts of love and happiness. And it is when we become love that our greatest love of all can find us. Do you want your life to be better and better? Do you want your finances to be stable? Do you want to find an ideal lover? I believe that you always want to have both career and love. Have you found solution yet? We already have the answer for you. All the answers are for you. Click on the link in the description below my video. Click here, show more. To see more details description. All you need is here. Subscribe to our channel, you'll be the first to receive the latest video, and click on the link in the description below the video to find your own answer. I believe the valuable answer will change your life. That's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment. If you find it interesting, bye, and see you again in the next videos.